This way. We don't have much time. Will they kill him? You can bet on it. Just as soon as he solves the clue. There's Remy. And there he goes. Should we follow him? I don't think so. He has the advantage now. What we need is some leverage. He may have the clip text, but I don't think he can solve it without us. The question is, will T-Bing be able to solve it without us? If he does, they will kill him. We'll have to solve it first. If we have the answer, we can trade it for T-Bing and hopefully get all of us out of here alive. Let's go over the scroll once more. In London lies a knight, a pope interred. His labor's fruit, a holy wrath incurred. As I recall, Sir Isaac Newton's burial was attended by kings and nobles, presided over by Alexander Pope, his friend and colleague, who gave a stirring eulogy before sprinkling dirt on the tomb. Alexander Pope? A pope. It's perfect. Newton is our knight. If I push that work light into the water, it would probably zap that guard. A makeshift taser. <laughs> this is it. The tomb of Sir Isaac Newton. What does the next part of the cryptic scroll say? Look at the controversy he has stirred. This child's son is key to find the world. Interesting. That's a celestial orb resting in a pyramid at the top. It has the signs of the zodiac on it. Who is that on top of the orb? That's a figure representing the science of astronomy. The reclining figure is Newton, and those angels are holding a mathematical formula. Is that an orb above them? This shows the arrangement of the planets. There's a depression under here, and it looks like there's a fleur-de-lis symbol. What's it for? It's hard to say, but there's a small circular hole as well. Nice. I just need to keep it up. Look, it's come loose. There must be something more to it. What do we do now? Something happened. I'm just not sure what. There's a scroll inside. What does it say? It looks like a series of five separate poems, possibly riddles. Grandpère would have put them in the order we needed to read them. Well, assuming Seigneur did write them, it doesn't hurt to start at the top. No, this isn't it. Ah, it's a cleaning brush. 
This might be useful later. That won't work. You know it was Chaucer that essentially made English the standard language among the upper class in London? Before his poems, they mostly spoke French and Latin. Grandpère loved all poetry, as you can tell by the poems that lead us to here. Right. Let's look at that poem again. Clockwise around the shield stops the name of he who can absolve your sin and shame. In Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, one of the stories was told by a knight. A knight in those days was not unlike the Arthurian legends, but perhaps a little more mercenary and a little less chivalrous. Sophie, you'd like Chaucer's story, The Wife of Bath's Tale. Would I? The prioress was a nun in charge of a priory. There's also a story about a partner in the Canterbury Tales. A partner is someone who would absolve people of sin for a fee. So only the rich went to heaven? Sometimes they ended up very poor. Unfortunately, it was usually the poor who would pay. In the story, the partner's prologue goes into detail about the partnering business. It looks like something might go on top of this shield. Perhaps it turns. <laughs> it looks like these letters can be moved around now. Moved around to make what, though? We got it. What's this? It looks like a ring, but it's too large to fit on a normal person's finger. Is it mentioned in the next poem? Let's see. Though many tried his words to find the rose. In Iam's writ, this man of loves and woes, a word you'll find that lies within the prose, which here denoted grants a ring repose. The monument to Shakespeare is missing. This sign says that it has been moved to the renovation room for restoration. We don't have to fight. This all could have been avoided if you just let me go. Turn on this light, I could probably distract one of those guards. What in places? Who's flipping the lights on? Hmm. We think so here. 
dear little rats running about. <laughs> I think that's enough. I reckon to enjoy every moment of this. And they told me boxing wouldn't be useful in a teaching career. I could distract a mercenary by flipping this light on. Come out, come out. Ah. You... Yeah. Do you know how much I'm enjoying this? Yeah. Oh. This isn't necessary. Better hide him before someone comes looking. This should come in useful. I think this controls the power to the renovation room. That should cast some light on the situation. I cannot believe you just said that. There must have been someone over in this direction. Leave her alone. Here you are. You're finished, sunshine. Don't make this difficult. <clears throat> oh, you're a slippery bugger, aren't you? Oh! My hand. If someone finds this guy unconscious, I'll call for backup. This looks useful. Have it your way. Get away from him! I think it would be best if you would let me go. Just give up already. Help! I've been itching for a fight all day. Have you had enough? Better move him out of sight. I still can't make it out. It's covered in mildew. We'll have to clean it somehow. <sighs> I'm missing something. There's too much mildew on the scroll of the monument here. We'll need to clean it up with something.
No, this isn't it. Finally. <coughs> it's dark. I can't really see what I'm looking at. That won't work. That's not what I'm looking for. No, this isn't it. That won't work. That's not what I'm looking for. This isn't important. No, this isn't it. That won't work. It's a marble cleaning solution. I get back to Acne, I think I'll take a long holiday. Maybe I should try again. Now we can get that grime off the Shakespeare monument. It looks like a quote from The Tempest. What does it say? The cloud-cupped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself. Yea, all which it inherit shall dissolute, and like the baseless fabric of a vision, leave not a wreck behind. Huh. There's something strange about it. There's an odd clean spot around the finger. It looks like a quote from The Tempest. What does it say? I think this is related to the poem. The poem says that a word will allow a ring its own repose. It looks like a... The word is temples, which the finger is pointing to. Then the finger is what allows the ring to rest? There's an odd clean spot around the finger. Ah, I'm on the right track. It fits perfectly. Look, it opened something up. What's inside? What's this for? Let's look at the next poem. The first child king of England made this place, where now he rests inside Confessor's grace. The bard's denoted words will help you find a way to help release a king of kind. So, 
on to be professional like. What could that be? I can and will defend myself. Do not make me hurt you. Finds this guy unconscious. A call for backup. There's some writing here. It says William. As in Shakespeare? As in the creator of this tomb. Or maybe both, knowing Sonier. Let's look at the poem again. The bald's denoted world will help you find a way to help release a king of kind. So far, every previous tomb has given us something for the next one. Good point. There's some sort of hole here in the center of these shapes. There's some sort of hole here in the center. Nice. I just need to keep it up. This. It looks like a small tile piece with a crown on it. It could be a king's crown, which would match what the poem told us. What does the next poem say? The cousin of the Queen Elizabeth, in Somerset the Baron lost his breath. His mother with a soldier ran away, but not before the night had made her day. That's a lot of people. Yes, but in keeping with the previous poems, only one of them is a central figure.
knew it would work. Look, there are tiles with symbols on them. I know, and it looks like one of the tiles is missing. That part worked. What is this? I don't know. It reminds me a little of the shield on Chaucer's tomb. Let's read the last poem. Think back on all you have now observed, and find the knight with whom you first conferred. He seeks the orb that ought to be on his tomb, but only if the seed lies in its womb. Would you really hit a lady? Just give up already. Do you know how much I'm enjoying this? He's out cold. I better move him out of sight. Fits perfectly. Did you hear that? Look, a drawer slid out. There's a scroll inside, but it looks like it's missing half. This final puzzle will reveal the word that frees you from the losses you incurred. <sighs> it fits perfectly. So strange a message, though. Reading it out loud sometimes helps. This final puzzle will reveal the word that frees you from the losses you incurred. Your family reunion is at hand. See through the picture and you'll understand. Family reunion? Robert, everyone in my family is dead but me. That'd be a very disturbing reunion. But I think your grandfather may have had something else in mind. Look, these tiles were meant to go on top of the completed scroll. Ah, you're right. Let us see what picture the tiles form.
It is a church. Robert, look. There are holes in the tiles. You can see letters through them. P A Y E N S. Payens is the final password for the cryptex, and Huda Payens founded the Knights Templar, which means that this must be a Templar church in the picture. Now what do we do? We can use this to get Teabing back. But Robert, anyone vile enough to threaten someone's life like this does not deserve to know the secret of the Grail. I don't think we have much of a choice at this point. Teabing is my friend. Our friend. If anything should happen to him. That is quite enough. I am afraid you two are very overdue. Remy. Overdue for what? Ah, I believe I am the one with the power here. My gun will point you in the proper direction to move your feet. Go! You, wait here! And if you value life, be it yours or hers, I suggest you not move. I hope you did not think I did this all by myself. What? What do you mean? Remy, I am afraid your services are no longer needed. <gasps> Teacher! Please believe I never had any intention of your being involved. You came to my home. You came searching for me. Lee, what the hell are you doing? We thought you were in trouble. We came here to help you. As I trusted you. We have much to discuss. Let Sophie leave. You and I can discuss this alone. I have given you the cryptex as a show of good faith. And I'm afraid that is all that I can afford to give you. You couldn't solve it. I am afraid not, Robert. I need your help. Maybe I can distract Tibing long enough for Robert to think of something. Teabing is the type of person who hates having his own world used against him. I thought you told us that only the wealthy can find the Grail. Let's see if we can solve the cryptex. What? How dare you say such a thing? I have you know that the Grail is my life's work? My life's work! If it weren't for your grandfather being too cowardly to release the truth to the world, we wouldn't be in this position now. But... Here we are. And, Robert, you must make your decision. What can you possibly hope to gain through this? Why, Langdon, the one thing that I have always wanted the most. To release the Sangrial documents to the public as they were always intended to be by the Priory. If the Priory wanted to release the documents, Sonier would have done so. Ah, but I discovered a terrible truth. The reason the documents were not released at the beginning of the new millennium at the ultimate moment of truth, Jacques Saunier changed his mind. So you blame Saunier because the Sangreal documents were never released? Wait. If Tibing is behind everything, then Grandpère's death. Tibing and all of this art. He is the one responsible for Grandpère. You are the one responsible for my grandfather's murder. This seems to be working. Your grandfather failed the Priory, the Grail, and the memory of all the generations that had worked to make that moment possible. The man honored with the greatest responsibility in Christian history eschewed his duty. His seneschal were traitors to the Grail. He was also under the thumb of the Church, and that ultimately is why I had to put his mind at rest and complete his duties for him. What could the Church possibly have over Saunier? The Church has 2,000 years of experience pressuring those who threaten to unveil its lies. Since the days of Constantine, the Church has successfully hidden the truth about Mary Magdalene and Jesus. We should not be surprised that now, once again, they have found a way to keep the world in the dark. The Church may no longer employ crusaders to slaughter non-believers, but their influence is no less persuasive, no less insidious. Employing Crusader's persuasive influence, insidious. He's not just describing the church. Is he a complete hypocrite? He has done everything that he says he hates the church for. You are no better than the church. 
What are you talking about? You manipulated Silas and Remy into working for you. You sent them to murder people who did not believe as you did. But everything I did was to expose the truth. What does it matter if you become exactly like the very thing you despise? Oh, no, my dear. You have no idea of what you speak. Perhaps I can illustrate my point with something you've been wondering about since you were old enough to think. Miss Navu, for some time now, your grandfather has wanted to tell you the truth about your family. How could you know that? My methods are immaterial. The important thing for you to grasp right now is this. The deaths of your mother, father, grandmother and brother were not accidental. What are you saying? Robert, it explains everything. All the pieces fit. History repeats itself. The church has a precedent of murder when it comes to silencing the Sangriar. With the end of days imminent, killing the Grand Master's loved ones sent a very clear message. Be quiet, or you and Sophie are next. These are just theories, but there is one murderer to be blamed. Even if the judge did murder my parents, he is no better. And now you have taken over where the church has left off. What do you mean? You have no proof about what happened to my parents, but now we do know one truth. It was you who murdered my grandfather. It was his own fault. He and his seneschal lied to Silas. Otherwise, I would have obtained the keystone without complication. How was I to imagine the Grand Master would go to such ends to deceive me and bequeath the keystone to an estranged granddaughter? Someone so unqualified to hold this knowledge that she required a symbologist babysitter. So it was you the entire time? One way or another, the keystone was coming to Chateau Villette. Silas was supposed to steal it from you there, thus removing you from the equation without hurting you and exonerating me from any suspicion of complicity. However, when I saw the intricacy of Sonnier's codes, I decided to include you both in my quest a bit longer. I could have Silas steal the keystone later, once I knew enough to carry on alone. The Temple Church. But you still need a scapegoat. Someone to blame for the murders that lead to the miraculous recovery of the Sangreal documents. I am afraid that Silas served his purpose all too well. As we speak, he is no doubt under the arrest of the police, and he is a well-known member of Manus Day. Listen. Can you hear it? The Grail is speaking to us across the centuries. She's begging to be saved from the Priory's folly. I implore you both to recognize this opportunity. We need to swear an oath together. A pledge of faith to one another. A knight's allegiance to uncover the truth and make it known. I will never swear an oath with my grandfather's murderer. Except an oath that I will see you go to prison. I am sorry you feel that way, mademoiselle. And you, Robert? Are you with me? Or against me? I know how to find the answer. Let Sophie go, and we'll figure it out together at Newton's tomb. I am not going anywhere. That cryptix was given to me by my grandfather. It is not yours to open! Sophie, please. You're in danger. I'm trying to help you. Robert! My grandfather would prefer his secret lost forever than see it in the hands of his murderer. Shoot me if you have to. I am not leaving my grandfather's legacy in your hands. Very well. No, Lee, if you even think about it, I will drop this. That bluff won't work on me. I know you better than that. Do you, Lee? I am a lone knight, surrounded by unworthy souls. Very well, a show of faith. Set the cryptex down, and we'll talk. They'll shoot us both as soon as I do. I have to protect Sophie, and the Grail. 